Former President Trump is picking up some key endorsements. Just this morning, House Majority Whip Tom Emmer announcing he is supporting Trump. His endorsement follows those from House Speaker Mike Johnson, Majority Leader Steve Scalise, and Conference Chair Elise Stefanik. News Nation's Brooke Schaefer is following this story, joins us live. Uh, Brooke, what do these endorsements mean, especially in those key battleground states? Well, Nicole, for former President Donald Trump, you know, his campaign with these endorsements, really hoping to show that the race is settled before we even get to the Iowa caucuses in less than two weeks, or then New Hampshire right after that. Like you said, just this morning, another big endorsement for the former president, the number three ranking Republican in the House Majority Whip, Tom Emmer, endorsed former President Trump, saying in his endorsement, quote, it's time for Republicans to unite behind our party's clear front runner. House Majority Leader Steve Scalise also endorsed the former president this week. So with this new endorsement from Emmer this morning, that means all of the top five members of the House GOP leadership have now endorsed Mr. Trump. A political analyst we spoke with this morning called this massively important for the former president, showing that Mr. Trump still has direct lines to the Republican caucus in the House, but also these latest endorsements, a projection of unity within the GOP following calls for other candidates to drop out and coalesce around a single candidate. Of note here, though, Emmer and the former president have a somewhat rocky relationship. Trump publicly campaigned against Emmer's bid for House Speaker. This is also all about trying to unify the party. In in, in a primary, uh, you have many divisions in a party as different factions of the Republican Party try to, to, to coalesce behind various different candidates. For Trump, he's been the dominant frontrunner. I mean, this race, according to the polls, is not even close. And so by being able to secure endorsements, not just from conservatives, but from more uh, middle of the road Republicans, what Trump was able to do is to flex his political muscle and to suggest that this race is settled uh, before really even Super Tuesday. Now, Trump, of course, not the only candidate picking up endorsements on the campaign trail right now. Businessman Vivek Ramaswamy this week was endorsed by Steve King, a former Republican representative from Iowa. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis has been backed by influential Iowa evangelical Bob Vanderplatz and Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds. And then just last month, a big endorsement for Nikki Haley, uh, New Hampshire Governor Chris Sununu throwing his support behind the former U.N. ambassador. But even with these big endorsements, it's still really hasn't been able to push any of these candidates ahead of former President Donald Trump. The latest Decision Desk HQ data shows Mr. Trump with more than 50 percent of the vote in Iowa polls right now. DeSantis and Haley neck and neck for second place. But as you look at those numbers, you can see there's still a very wide margin between first and second, more than 30 points uh, separating Mr. Trump and DeSantis and Nikki Haley. So even though there's some backing from big names, it doesn't really seem to be impacting voter decisions too much. A lot of this, though, is about appearance. And right now, with these latest endorsements for Trump, even from some like Emmer, who could be considered a skeptic. It appears that leaders in the Republican Party are right now sort of falling in line, anticipating a Trump nomination. Nicole? All right. Brooke Schaefer, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.